Good morning. Please all stand as we pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour o forth, I beseech, O Lord, your, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together with our personal intentions, we offer this Holy Mass for the gift of life and birthday intentions of Sheila May Laoglaug, Huyen Nguyen, Stephen Marchan, Miguel Mati, T.J. Danias, Elijah Oreta, Clinton Habone, Rafi Flores, Iu Bakunawa, Kyle Angelo Magno, and of Vince Moncada. Thanksgiving for God's infinite goodness and unconditional love offered by Flor Diaz, Alberto Villasoto, Mila Fernandez, Meli Inojo, Faustina Batacan, Inday Chavez, Beth Potestas, Joy Alvarez, Christina De Senilia, Anan and Inton Bagil, and of Marites Arojo. In thanksgiving to the gift of the person of, of Blessed Maria, Theresa Bonzel, whose feast day occurs today, and for the special intentions of all the sisters who followed her. For the ninth birthday and thanksgiving of Aaron Zechariah Atanasio, offered by Momsi Fidelis, Papsi Angelito and Atanasio and family. For the healing, recovery, and good health of Father George Militante, Father Felix Forlan, Father Franco Uras, Brother Bertana, Clara Cabilan, Tupista El Tanal, Tony Redoble, Ramon Mendoza, Josefa, Rose Hermoso, Carmichael Aniceta, Ed and Marietta Sumacial, Alicia Lazaro, Anna Farrell, Julie Sands, Teresa Hernaez, Michelle Hernaez, Aris and Ben Batung, Anami Kanag, Feli and Floro Aguila, and for the sick members of APC FSB Davao and ABES retirees. For the intentions of Kyle Malio, Wilson Buna, Ivan Nueva, Brother Jason Selmar, Roy Ashley, Luz Buelis, Salvador Tagalog Jr., Anan and Inton Bagil, Nancy Peneza, Silvia Sarumines, and of Crescentia Ocubilio. For the eternal repose of the souls of Kent Dave Balansag, Alfredo Shano Sr., Magdalena, Samuel de Guzman Sr., Lourdes, Samuel de Guzman Jr., Agosto, Norberto, Lidwina, 
Joey Concepcion, Gloria Vera, Marshall Ursua Jr., Moises Alquizar, Apolio, Richard, Tereso, Teresita, Roche, Josefina, Rodrigo, Esther, Vivencia, Nino, Gregorio, Antonia, Carol, Alan, Emil, Felix, Teresa, Luz, Margarita, Carlito, Bonifacio, Reynaldo, Lolita, Sally, Ryan, Carlo, Epondulan, Edita Tan, Erlinda Luga, Joe Mark, Crescentian Ugay, Mercedita, Baltazar, Nira, Amparo, and for all of the poor souls in purgatory, especially for those who died of COVID-19. Please all stand. Come to the table, enter his presence, feast with thanksgiving and celebrate his love. Come to the table, enter his presence, feast with thanksgiving and celebrate his love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of Blessed Eusebia Palomino Yenis, a Salesian sister, a daughter of Mary, help of Christians, whose life of simplicity and humility attracted many young people. We ask that through her intercession, we too may live in simplicity and humility as we follow Jesus day by day. We offer in this Eucharist our personal and community intentions. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you so shaped the heart of the Virgin Blessed Eusebia through the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus that she gave her life for others. Grant that strengthened by her example of humility and joy, we may grow constantly in your love and in the service of the poor. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the water of the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animal, animals of all kinds. And so it happened. 
God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and, of, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it, to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, and all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all the array were completed. Since on the seventh day, God was finished with the work he had been doing. He rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. Such is the story of the heavens and, and the earth at their creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him a little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over all the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beast of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims of the path of the seas. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And in coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. 
So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching us doctrines, human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me is korban, meaning dedicated to God. You allow him to do nothing more for his mother or father. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, good morning. Whenever the church proclaims someone a saint or blessed, certain questions come to mind. What is the life story of this person? Who were those that inspired him or her to live the Christian life? Or what were the challenges and difficulties that this person has faced that became instrumental to this quest for holiness? Or how did God become the center of his or her life? This is because we as Christians and Catholics would like to know more of these who are recognized by the church in order to draw inspiration, imitate their virtues, and lastly, to ask for their intercession. All of us are also called to a life of holiness, and their lives can be of help to lead us towards that path. Today, we celebrate the memory of a Salesian sister, Blessed Eusebia Palomino Yenes. She was born in Cantalpino in the province of Salamanca in western Spain on December 1899. Her father, Agostino, was a man of faith, yet was very poor. And at times during the year, Eusebia and her father were forced to ask for alms in the neighboring areas, but they did so with joy and faith. And during those long journeys, Eusebia's father would explain the catechism to her, who was also very eager to learn. In their family, there was work, prayer, and love for each other. Her Christian formation in the family made her very generous and especially sensitive to God's presence and guidance in her life. Her burning desire since her childhood was to be able to offer her life to God to become a saint. And in spite of the fact that they had barely nothing, she only had this in mind. No amount of poverty was ever going to quell her desire for God, who is leading her to commit herself to, her, to His service and to the service of His people. She entered the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians, and as a novice, she spent much of her time in the kitchen. She was not given big tasks, so to say, but after some time, she was asked to teach the smallest children. And eventually, her candor and charm attracted not only the little girls of the oratory, but even the young ladies and the older ones too. She lived her ordinary service extraordinarily well, as Don Bosco wanted. And she was a devotee of our Blessed Mother, she offered herself to Our Lady in prayer for her brothers and sisters in Spain and the world over, especially during the civil war then in Spain. The Lord accepted her offering, and so she suffered for the next three years and became sick. Finally, on the 10th of February, 1935, 
the Lord finally took her to himself and was eternally joined to her spouse in paradise. She was beatified by Pope St. John Paul II on April 2004. Blessed Eusebia dedicated her life to the Lord wholeheartedly and sincerely. And in our gospel today, Jesus rebuked the scribes and Pharisees who were too attached to their traditions rather than the spirit of these religious practices. He even told them that they were hypocrites, for they honor God with their lips, yet their hearts are far from Him. Brothers and sisters, we pray in this Eucharistic celebration for a sincere and wholehearted following the Lord. We ask for His grace so that we can withstand temptations and challenges as we closely follow Him. We thank the Lord as well for the life and example of Blessed Eusebia Palomino Yenes. Let us offer our intentions through her intercession. Our worship is meaningless unless it proceeds from a sincere heart. We pray now to God the Father to create within us a clean heart and a steadfast spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may always be guided by the light of the gospel and may not seek security in structures. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may not close our eyes to the real human needs of the poor who are in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may realize that the real test of how we are carrying out God's will is to be found in the way we treat others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That the sick may be strengthened in their weaknesses and be freed from every infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead who have gone before us may rest in God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, 
pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. Heavenly Father, create within us sincerity of heart so that we may love and respect others as you treasure them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, we see the wonder of your love in the life of the Virgin Eusebia and her witness to Christ. Accept our gifts of praise and make our offering acceptable to you. Grant this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Blessed Eusebia Palomino and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Spiritual communion. O Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it, sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Amen. Mighty 
Let us pray. Lord God, may this Eucharist renew our courage and strength. May we remain close to you like blessed Eusebia by accepting in our lives a share in the suffering of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.